in the hospital uh, with this officer who was shot. Yes. What can you tell us an update on how he's doing? What where he's at right now? Well, about a half hour ago, I would say he was taken up into surgery. Um, it looks like he's going to be fine. He was he was conscious and he was speaking. Um, his wife was there. His family was there. His co-workers, um, his deputy chief was there. Um, obviously uh, serious. You know, anytime you're shot, it should be considered life-threatening. But um, in speaking with the doctor, he's he's very fortunate today, what as you, we all are. Yeah. And what can you tell us about this officer? Was he with special investigations? Was he undercover? He he is a uh, special investigation. Well, I probably shouldn't say that. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't talk about that. Uh, all I can tell you is that he was uh, serving a search warrant. Okay. And where was he shot? Do you know? Um, in the upper body. Was it in his shoulder? Is what we've heard. Correct. Okay. And talk to us a little bit about how the feeling is in there, you know, a fellow officer in surgery. Well, everyone's relieved to hear that he's doing okay. But obviously they're, they're concerned and they're worried and they're worried for him and his family. Um, whenever something like this happens, it brings home the seriousness and the dangers of the profession. But everyone is um, thankful and very relieved that he's going to be okay. Does he have a wife and children? or? Do you... I can't can't answer whether he has children but I know that he is married I did speak to his wife and we got word of a second officer injured as well are they in the not, hospital or? not that I'm aware of maybe with a um, minor injury but not that I'm aware of so who all is in there with the officer now well um, some folks have left um, because he's gone up to surgery uh -huh. but his family and, and some of his co-workers are still there okay um, and do you know whether they might be willing to speak with us Oh, I can't say. I, it, um, the family, I can't say. His co-workers, I know they, they wouldn't be able to, but um, I, I can't speak for the, for the family. What's the environment like in there? Is it a cheerful one? It's a, he'll make a recovery? Or no, I, I, I would describe it as hopefully tense. You know, um, everyone is tense, but everyone is relieved. Like I said, they, at least they had the opportunity to speak to him and see that he was doing okay and wish him the best. So that's, you know, everyone was very relieved for that. But of course, you know, they're, they're concerned about him. Is this an officer that you knew personally beforehand? Um, not not uh, a personal relationship. No, I know I know who he is and, you know, yeah. I know of him. Well, okay, sure. so you didn't know him. Are you here largely as a member of the union to be supportive? Of well, as, as a union and also as a, as a police officer and co-worker, sure. Okay. okay. How long has he been with the department? Do you know? That I can't say. I don't okay. know. No. Um, all right. Appreciate your help. Thank you. Sure. He's been in there. How long have you been?